Hello, Ron the Thrill here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network for Red Sun. So the previous day's events taken care of, it's time to save and go to bed. I've actually had people asking why I'm not using the Day 1 Part 1 sort of naming scheme that I was using in previous Battle Network projects. Honestly, I don't think that mechanic sticks around very long in this game. I want to say that might be about the only time we actually have to go to bed. Anyway, I'd like to welcome scientists from every country who've gathered here today. Some have come from countries with a hostile reputation, but we have no time for hostilities now. I'll get straight to the point. Our planet's in extreme danger. Extreme danger? I'm afraid so. An asteroid's approaching us. We've calculated its course, and in a few months, it'll collide with our world. What? 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs that ruled this planet were destroyed by an asteroid impact. That's right. We too are now facing destruction. However, we are not like the dinosaurs. I love that just as an out-of-context quote. We've become masters of science. <laughs> That's also a pretty good one, actually. Using technology, we should be able to prevent the asteroid impact. Don't mind me, just making my dramatic entrance. I'll be there in a minute. Exactly, Dr. Regal. Dr. Regal. From Nation Z, the infamous military state. His reputation may be bad, but his science is the best. <laughs> I just love the wording of that. He'd be a bad enemy, but right now, he's our best hope. With his help, our defenses will be the best possible. To be called here to help in our defense is a great honor. As we share the same planet, let's us now protect it together. Let us us now protect it, yes. We will. We must. We have a little time, so let's review the asteroid data. We can then discuss the most suitable action plans. Please follow me to the second floor. After several hours have passed, I think that this is our best option. You're right. If we shoot a giant laser at the asteroid, we can change its course to miss us. It's probably the best our technology has to offer. What do you all think? I vote for Dr. Hikari's plan. Yes, it may well work for us. Are we all in agreement, then? Right, then. We will officially adopt Dr. Hikari's laser strategy. Without delay, everyone, let's get to work. Okay, I'll start work on the laser gun design. But I'll need everyone's help. Leave asteroid analysis to me. Okay, but we have no time to lose. The asteroid's drawing closer to us every second. But enough of all that seriousness. The day after Shademan's attack on the navvies, Len's oversleeping once again. Len! Len! Oh, let me sleep a little longer. I'm exhausted after yesterday. Len, get up! The Den Battle Tournament is today. Get up quickly. We have to get moving. Huh? Den Battle Tournament? Ah! Oh no, I completely forgot! And I've overslept. Will we make it? That's the land we all know and love. I don't know. Let's just get there. It's being held in the Elect Town Square. I hope we make it. Len, hurry, let's go. Okay. So along the way, I want to stop and cover what the different subchips do, because I don't think we really covered that. Mini Energy is basically just a quick heal. It heals you by 50 HP out of battle. Sneak Run... It makes it so that you're less likely to encounter weaker virus battles that you can just run from normally. However, stronger virus battles will still occur, so it's not a cure-all sort of thing for that. It does, however, make it a little easier to encounter Navi battles randomly on the net once those start appearing. This one, I'm not sure if that stands for Locate Enemy or Lock Enemy, but once you've had a virus encounter, if you use this, it makes it so that you're more likely to encounter that same fight. Also good for tracking down random Navi battles. But we don't really need any of that just yet.
So we'll also cover these real quick. Full energy is exactly what it says on the tin. It completely heals you outside of battle. This one's pretty useful to have, especially late game. Untrap, on the other hand, this one's situational at best. Later in the game, green mystery data can sometimes be viruses in disguise. If you use Untrap, it keeps that from happening. But honestly, I just never really feel like it's worth it. We can go back here if we want. There's not really a point to it. Want to enter the Den Battle Tournament? Did you register your name yet? What? You didn't? If you don't, you can't participate. Talk to the Grey Navi in Town 3 to register. Check into the TV at Jomon Electric. It's a shortcut to the town area. That's a pretty useful thing to have. This part, honestly, I'm not really sure what the point of it is. It might have something to do with linking the games. Honestly, I've never really had a chance to do that myself. For the longest time, I only had Red Sun. And now, my game link cable doesn't actually work, so, well, that's a problem. So anyway, you might have seen a message board back there. It's just a basic chat board. I don't think it has anything too terribly useful on it yet. But now we can get through here. We don't actually have a banner yet for Jomon Electric, though. Oop. Mystery data! Well, we'll just deal with you quickly. And now we have cannons. There we go. Mystery data! 500 zennies. How much do I even have right now? Eh. Nowhere near what I need for that next HP memory. I think that was, what, 6,000 zennies? So yeah, that's gonna be a while. Uh, let's see here. I may be able to make use of this. That worked out. But alas, only Guard 1A. Are you here to register your name? Please enter a name. So only three letters, so we'll go with initials. Like I said, I'm not really sure what the point of this is. But whatever. Once you register, you can't change. Is this name okay? Yeah, sure. So, let's get out of here. Now that we're all nice and registered... So, you've completed your net entry? Well then, you're now eligible to take part in the prelims. Yeah! I'll now explain the prelim rules. Follow me. Suddenly, people! Ahem. Can you all hear me? You'll receive a task from each of those three people. If you manage to complete all three of those missions, you'll progress from the prelims. Ask each of those three for details of the tasks. You can only accept one task at a time. Come to me when you've completed all three of your tasks. That completes my explanation. All right, we'll definitely clear the prelims. I now declare the Den Battle Tournament prelims open. All right. So this one's rather quick. Will you accept a request from me? Will you take it? Before I explain, I'd like to give you a little test. If you can answer my riddles, I'll give you a request. Ready? Here we go. What should be the next three letters? O-T-T-F-F-S-S. -S. Well, these are the initials of numbers if you start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need E-N-T for eight, nine, ten. Correct, very good, you're quick. Now I'd like to request your help. Didn't you say riddles, plural? Whatever. My PET has been hit by a virus. It's totally dead. These days you just can't live without a PET to help you out. Can you delete the viruses for me? This could be dangerous for your Navi. Are you sure? Thank you for helping my PET. Be careful. So this is just a three-stage endurance fight. Nothing too major here. Alas, didn't really get anything to help with that last guy. 
also fired a bit too quickly there. Oh well, this'll do the trick. No problem. Stage two. A couple of spikies. Don't suppose you guys would like to be really cooperative. Why, yes you would. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now for the final one, we're a bit more varied. Let's see here. That might actually be a good start. Well, we're down to just the Billy. Uh, let's see here. There we go. You fixed my PET. Thank you. Now I can live a normal life again. That's one down. The middle one's also pretty quick. I'm researching an insect called a gold bug. My dissertation is due this month, but I can't find any actual gold bugs. I've looked, but they're quite rare and hard to find. So I was hoping you can help me. I want you to find one male and one female gold bug. They only live here in Electopia. My dissertation will help me get ahead and admit me to bug society too. So please help me. Take on my request. My future depends on it. Will you help me? Really? All right. Okay, let me tell you about gold bugs. They look just like twigs, but they're gold colored. The males are active during the day and easy to find, but the females are very shy and hide during the day. Both live only in natural green areas. They can also appear unexpectedly inside people's homes, too. I guess that's all you need to know. Thanks in advance. I'm counting on you. So we don't even have to go on the net for this one. Let's race a car! So yeah, we need natural green settings and people's homes. Well, there's only one place we know of to find those. First, a natural green setting. Look, one branch is shining brighter than the others. Could it be? Yep, sure enough. And so we got Goldbug F. But now that hint about looking in someone's home. Len, there's a bug in my room. Do something! <laughs> Something's moving under the toy bear. Wouldn't expect to find any here. Wow, this one's huge. And we got Goldbug M. Did you get it? Just take it away. And so we shall. Back to the square with us. What's this? Oh, it's a male and female gold bug. Well done, you saved me. Thank you so much. Now I can complete my dissertation. Len gave Goldbug F and Goldbug N. I finally got my hands on the elusive Goldbug. Thanks for completing my request. Words can't express my gratitude. So, that's two out of three complete. The last one's a bit more involved though, so we're gonna take a quick refreshing pause here, and back in a moment.